Okay, game three, Colorado at Winnipeg, 8 o'clock Eastern time. And the only thing that isn't intriguing about the West is where Colorado is. They're the clear number one seed in the West. And the only question now is, will they hold that position over Florida for the President's Trophy? Whether they care about that or not, not sure. I'm sure they're more focused on being healthy going into the postseason. Winnipeg must win this game tonight. If they don't, they will be math. They they will be all but mathematically eliminated from the postseason. Let's take a look at the number on this game. Colorado minus a dollar eighty, big favorites six and a half under minus twenty five, big favorites on the road. We see some money coming in on the Jets. This number opened at minus a dollar eighty five, now down to a dollar eighty. So some Jet money coming in. I'm sure public knowing that the Jets must win this game. Listed goaltenders is Darcy Kemper against Connor Hellebuck. Of course, Hellebuck starts because he starts every game for the Jets. And this is the only way the Jets are going to win this game. They need to come in and be the more physical of the two teams. They need to play a grinded out, a grinded out style because if this becomes a high-paced hockey game, they will not keep pace with Colorado. I don't care how many injuries they have. I don't care if Landis Gog is out. They are the better of the two teams by far. So they must keep this into a physical game rather than allowing – Colorado to have a lot of room and be able to transition out of that defensive end uh, quickly uh, up, up the ice. They must clog up that neutral zone, and I think that's what you're going to see out of Winnipeg, Winnipeg tonight. Colorado's very mindful of the fact that if you get through the regular season, they want to get through the regular season. They don't want to have any injuries. They couple that with knowing that they have Edmonton tomorrow. I expect to see a lot of short shifts. I think the top six is going to get a lot less minutes that they than they normally would. And if you take those top six and, and cut their minutes by a minute and a half or two minutes, which doesn't sound a lot, but it really is in hockey terms, uh, that to me I think is going to uh, speak to maybe a lower scoring game. Winnipeg has not been a friendly place for for Colorado through the years. Colorado's just 9-12-3 in their last 24 visits. Colorado has also clinched a playoff berth in their last game in their win against Pittsburgh. They're the third fastest team in the last 25 years to get to 50 wins. I think we'll see the Avalanche exhale a little bit in this one. So my official play on tonight, we know Colorado is the better team. We're going. We're not going to lay a dollar eighty because that's not good for our bankroll. So let's anticipate a physical grinder hockey, uh, a grinded out hockey uh, game tonight. I think that is going to definitely speak to the under six and a half minus twenty five. And just a caveat on this: it was six for most of the morning. It's up to six and a half now because, of course, everybody's betting the over. This is you know Colorado's an automatic over bet for the public. But six and a half, go and find that number. Even if you have to lay the dollar twenty-five, I think that's going to be the difference in the game tonight. 